how y'all be up on this roof. We're gonna do this gutter job right here. See all them gutters. How right, dirty they y'all. So yep, yeah, so let's get it popping. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Uh, just finished this yard. Uh, had a lot of leaves. I mean, good. Nice boy had a lot of leaves. Let's take a look at it. So, I finished it up. Knocked it out. Got that uh, end bed right there, so I put some stuff down for him. Also, uh, it looked good all the way around. Looks pretty good. They got their Thanksgiving stuff up. He also had me clean the gutter, so, hey, y'all. Hey. If you can clean gutters, get that money. Um, it's money at cleaning gutters. I mean, if you ain't scared of heights, using a ladder, go ahead and get it. So here it is, going up. Going all the way up. So, it took me about, and I'm a clock. It took me 42 minutes to do the yard, clean the gutters. So, that's how I look all the way down. What I try to do, y'all, is uh, I time myself on every yard that I do, just to um, kind of let me know uh, how long it take me to do a yard on average. So that's just what I do. I don't know what you guys do, but hey, we might have a new potential customer. I just gave her a quote right here. That yard right there. So I gave her a car, so she might call me. You know, we got three more on the books. Today is Saturday. Um, I really don't do no yards on Saturday, but believe it or not, when you work on Saturday, man, you kind of advertising for yourself because people are always home on Saturday. So just uh, keep that in mind. Got a new customer I got to do today uh, around my neighborhood. It's a lot of leaves. They also want a bush trim. So I'll let y'all look at the before and then I'll let y'all look at the after. So once again, this how it look. Remember, get them gutters done. If you can clean them gutters, get that money. And that's the ladder I use right there, get them gutters. So uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Um, enjoy y'all weekend and uh, peace. Hey, what's up y'all, back with the channel. Um, customer just came home, so I don't wanna record too much. Let me ask y'all something about these ant beds. Do y'all hit these ant beds with y'all lawnmower? Cause I don't hit them when they that big because uh, I uh, don't like all them ants on my bag on long more when I get ready to put it up. And it drives me crazy. So here go an ant bed right here. Look how big that thing is. That thing is huge. And see, look, if I just touch it. Oh, it ain't run out that time yet. But come on this side. See, look at them running out. See, they just start coming out of nowhere. Yeah, in Georgia, you got these fire ants, man. They don't play. So, I don't know where y'all at. Here go another. I hit this one just a little bit earlier. They were coming out like crazy. Look at them. Get this thing, man. Look at them things just running out. See? So tell me what y'all do. Leave in a comment. Make sure ain't nothing on my glove. Leave in a comment. Let me know what y'all do. Do y'all hit the ant beds with your lawnmower? And just edge around like I do. Y'all just hit it with the lawnmower and just keep going. And if ants get on your lawnmower, it is what it is. Alright, talk to you later.